Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna talk about something very, very interesting. A very popular topic on social media right now. It's about Sean Clarida and his arms. And the question is, are Sean Clarida's biceps sintal? In one of his most recent posts, Sean Clarida posted this biceps training video. And this video is basically what started the question, are his biceps sintal? Because here you can obviously see a very, very odd, very suspicious looking bicep shape. One of the more popular bodybuilding Instagram pages, who is the best bodybuilder, posted this on their feed. And basically they're asking us a question, bicep peaks or sintal? And there is a whole bunch of replies, a lot of comments, a lot of debate on this topic. But I think the top comment on this post made by a pro coach, Phil Viz, is basically summing it all up very nicely. So he says, I'm gonna get hated and attacked, but yeah, that's oil. But who cares? More pros do, then don't use it. As long as it doesn't look bad on stage, who cares? It's not like the entire arm is oil. And I gotta agree with this, but first of all, I gotta say, Phil Wiz, he worked with a lot of top pros, so he's probably speaking from experience. Also, you guys probably know that Dave Palombo used to sell this stuff, and he says that majority of the pros are using it. And then, on top of it all, you don't have to be an expert, you don't have to be a top-level coach, you don't have to sell the stuff. Sometimes, when it's very obvious, very visible, you just know it when you see it. Here's a most recent physique update of Sean Clarida six weeks after the Mr. Olympia. And check out his biceps right here. If this doesn't look like something weird, then I don't know what does. I mean, look at his arms. Look at his arms. They're definitely way out of proportion, first of all. And the way his biceps are shaped... Come on, come on, man. This cannot be a real muscle. This is... I think... Look at this. This is a lot of freaking oil, a lot of oil. Pay close attention right here, come on. You can't tell me this is just biceps. No way, no way. This is basically looking like Rich Piana and his biceps weren't even sintal, they were like silicon or something like that. So whatever Sean Clarida is doing, whatever he's putting in his arms, I mean, I don't know what it is, but this is not the way regular muscle looks like. You cannot see any fibers. Just please don't tell me it's not sintal because you can see his veins. I mean, the veins are on the top of his muscle, under his skin. The oil is deep inside of the tissue. And I think it's pretty clear that he's got a ton of it inside his biceps. We also got this video where he's measuring his arms. And, I mean, check out the measurements, first of all. So he's 5 foot 2. That's right, 5 foot 2. And he's 200 pounds. His arms are 21 inches guys 21 inches at height of five foot two his height is 62 inches and his arms are more than third of his height but i mean forget about the, the measurements look at the biceps right here and tell me you don't see it tell me these biceps are looking natural they're looking like actual tissue by the way, I don't know why they're measuring the t-shirt here, but anyway, the biceps really aren't even looking that peaky, to be honest. As you can see right here, they're looking pretty flat, massive, but not super peaky. Which, again, makes things even more suspicious. Guys like Lee Priest, uh, Rolly Winkler, these guys had super massive peaks. Sean Clarita doesn't really, but his biceps are super massive, so I'm guessing he added a ton of synthol in them to make them appear more peaky than they could be naturally. Meaning without sight enhancement, of course. All things being said, you can just forget about whatever I said and just look at this video and at this bicep. And once again, I think it is very, very clear that this guy is not just using a little bit of synthol like most pros, but he's abusing it he's doing it a little bit excessively he might be overdoing it a little and you know it got me thinking is that potentially the reason why he lost the mr olympia the 212 olympia 
Because when I was watching this, this pre-judging and the finals, I thought Sean was definitely better on that stage. He seemed like he had more maturity, better conditioning, better fullness, better thickness. He was just a better bodybuilder. I mean, what Keon had on him was simply better shape. But was ever really shape that important in open bodybuilding or 212, which is basically the same thing in classic, sure. But in bodybuilding divisions, it was never the case. So I was wondering, how? How did Kian win this? Because the structure argument doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But this could be it. You know, in the photos, you can't really see Sinto in, in Sean Clarita's physique. You can't really see it. But maybe, maybe the judges with a trained eye actually were able to see it on stage. Because they're literally like six feet away from these guys. And they can see everything very very clearly and they have eye for this stuff they can see Sintel when there is too much of it and they maybe notice that in Sokolita's biceps especially probably in other areas as well and maybe they punished him for it and maybe just maybe the same thing happened in open bodybuilding maybe Derek didn't win because of those two shots from the back maybe that wasn't it right maybe he actually won because he didn't have too much visible oil everywhere basically but especially in the arms and shoulders like it is the case with Hari Chopin and we all know that we all see that of course Tyler Manning is not gonna say it on his review his video analysis of the show he won't say Hadi lost because this year he had too much Sinto last year he had a little bit less you know he can't acknowledge that but we all know it we all see it maybe this year it was more visible than before or maybe it was the same but Derek came in improved and it was close enough so they could give it to Derek maybe Back to Sean Clarida now to answer the question once again, are these biceps sintol? Yes, yes, absolutely, the answer is yes, it is very, very visible, not so much in this video per se, but for example in this video and many others, you can't miss it, you just can't miss it. I think it is more visible than Hadi Chopin, well, than anybody in the top right now in IBB Pro League. For example, William Bonek was accused of the same thing because his biceps are extremely peaky. They don't look, you know, tumorish like Sean Clarita's, but they look crazy peaky. And here is the photo that Milo Sharchev took and he said he touched his biceps as well because he has a lot of experience with Sintel and he said these biceps are not Sintel. And yeah, when you look at this photo close up like this, you can see the fibers, you can see the quality. This biceps is extremely weirdly shaped, like it's crazy picky. And Milo Sharch is guaranteeing that these biceps are real. So I believe Bonex biceps aren't simple. But Sean Clarita, hell nah. Hell no, man. There is no chance. Anyways, that's my take on it, that's my opinion, you guys can tell me what do you think, I saw a lot of people talk about this on social media, so I wanted to give you my take, my thoughts, and I think it's pretty clear what is happening here once again, but I'm curious to hear what do you guys think, or actually, I'm curious to hear, are there people who believe that these biceps are just pure muscle tissue? But whatever you guys think, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you guys want to help me out to reach 50k subscribers, you want to see more content like this, click that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, see you soon in one of the next videos, all the best guys and bye bye.